Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part 17 of my ultimate guide to Logic Pro. In this video, I'm gonna cover three topics. One, recording electric bass DI using an instrument input on my audio interface. Two, I'll show you how to use Bass Amp Designer, which is a pretty nice bass amp sim that's included with Logic Pro. And three, I'll show you how to make drummer tracks follow the groove of your bass lines for tighter rhythms in your musical arrangements. So recording DI bass is very similar in terms of setup to recording guitar. So if you haven't already watched the previous video in this series, part 16, I highly recommend that you do that because the setup is going to be basically identical. One big difference between recording electric guitar and electric bass is that traditionally in a lot of studio recordings and in live sound, the recording engineer will often split the signal of the bass and record the amp with a microphone and then also simultaneously record the direct signal with no amp tone or speaker cap. In fact, many bass amps offer a direct out or preamp out as well. And then in mixing, the engineer can use this to sort of blend the body and vibe that you get from the amp tone with the definition and punch that you get from the DI signal. So you blend these two recordings together to get the best result. However, Bass Amp Designer makes this process even easier by offering an amp sim and a direct box option, and you can blend between these two sources. So this makes it easy because you don't have to record two different channels or duplicate the channel. You can do all of this within the Bass Amp Designer plugin. So this is a topic I'll touch on in this video as well. Well, before we jump over to Logic, I just want to quickly tell you about the sponsor of this video, Boombox, which is a really awesome new collaboration tool for musicians and other music industry professionals. Boombox allows you to upload audio and receive time-stamped feedback from collaborators on a project. So if you are in a band and you want to collect feedback from your fellow bandmates on a new song or a new mix, you can do that. If you want to get production notes from a collaborator or co-writer, you can do that too. Or if you're a mixing engineer, you can easily collect feedback for mixing revisions. I also want to give a quick shout out to their brand new podcast called Boomcast over on their YouTube channel. I actually made my very first podcast appearance on Boomcast episode four. If you want to go check that out as well, I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. And if you want to give Boombox a try, you can sign up for a free account today and get 10 gigabytes of free storage. Okay, so let's jump into Logic and record some bass. Okay, so I got my bass plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and just create another audio track. Pull this up here and I'll call this bass. And the same as the guitar, I need to tune this up. So I'll just input monitor this. I'm going into the same input, input two. So I'll go ahead and just bring up the tuner and let's tune up the bass. Okay, so I got my bass tuned up. It's a five string bass. So it's B-E-A-D-G. So once again, I'm just using standard tuning. And one thing you'll notice with bass is depending on the settings on the bass and depending on what type of pickups you have. Also, if you have active pickups, make sure you have a fresh battery. Sometimes the signal level will be significantly lower than the clean signal of a guitar. So you may find yourself adding a little bit of gain on your instrument level input, but again, don't do too much because it'll it'll you know cause the tone to change in not a very good way sometimes. So I'm going to just rely on bass amp designer for my gain. So I'm just gonna go down to amps and pedals, and there's another amp sim here called bass amp designer. Bass amp designer, honestly, in my opinion, is more impressive than amp designer. It's a really decent bass amp sim. And just like with Amp Designer, you can choose different combined models here. There's only four of them, but you have the Modern Amp, the Classic Amp, which is sort of like an Ampeg style thing. You have a flip top, and you can just go with a direct box, which is sort of modeling an Avalon DI box. I'm going to go to the flip top amp, and you can also swap out the cabinet. There's several different cabinets you can choose from. Again, there's the three amps other than the DI box. But one of the things I really like about this plugin is you can blend between the amp signal and the DI box. So if you want 100% amp, you can set it to 100% amp. But if you want to blend in a little bit of the DI box, you can actually do that. And this is a really common trick used when recording bass 
And this is what I was talking about earlier. Traditionally, you would track the amp with a microphone, and then you'd also simultaneously track just the straight DI signal and then blend the two together in the mix. So this amp direct box mix blend slider is really helpful for mimicking that same technique, but all within one plugin, rather than having to duplicate the track or record two different inputs. And once again, you've got a few different options here for uh, different bass cab mics. I'm going to go with the RE20, and let's go ahead and just kind of make that straight up on there. And let's see what this amp sounds like. Okay, so we're clipping pretty heavily. I'm going to go ahead and just pull down the gain. I'm also going to pull down the boost on the DI box. And there is like a master output over here as well, if you need to adjust that. Let's add a little more fundamental bass to that. Let's add a little more boost on the DI box. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to turn on the cycle range to set my starting point, record enable the track, and hit R to record. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around. And just like I demonstrated in the previous video, recording bass is basically identical to guitar. So you can record multiple takes or different sections if you want and edit them together using quick swipe comping. If you missed that, go check out part 14 where I give a dedicated tutorial on quick swipe comping. Okay, so I got my bass part here, and I'm certainly not the best bass player in the world. I basically play bass like a guitar player <laughs> plays bass. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fade the end and fade the beginning just like I did with the guitar parts. And one other thing I'm going to do here that I had mentioned in the previous video is I really like when the drums follow the bass. It just sort of locks the groove in really nicely. So I'm going to go into each of my drummer regions here and I'm gonna make the drummer regions follow the bass track. And what that will do is it'll lock in the groove between the drums and the bass. You just have to be sure to do this with every single drummer region that you have. And unfortunately, you can't do it with your MIDI regions because the end here, I sort of converted this to a MIDI region, but I think that'll be okay. Let's just listen to the bass and drums alone. Yeah, that's really nice. The kick and snare really latch on to the transients in the bass. So let's give this whole thing one more listen. And before I wrap up the video, I just want to mention that this entire Logic project, this demo project, is available as a free download below in the video description if you want to play around with Bass Amp Designer and Amp Designer. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around. Tell me that you can't give one more day Don't ever tell me why Don't you ever tell me why Cause I don't want, I don't want to know I've carried your heart when you needed me That's just how our love was meant to be I keep on tearing And all your misery 
I gave you everything and you left me in the cold. And there you go. That's how you can track guitar and bass DI in Logic Pro using Amp Designer and Bass Amp Designer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.